Hey everyone, this is 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with your Weather Now update on this Thursday. And uh, it's been a mild one. You know, you have to check the calendar a couple of times, right? And you're like, wow, it feels so nice out. It's in the 50s outside. Um, that's the theme going forward, by the way. Uh, this mild area is not going anywhere anytime soon. Here's a look outside in Newport. Things are looking nice here. Uh, bright skies and again, comfortable conditions. Uh, temperatures uh, topped out in the 50s across much of the area. Uh, here's one more check outside from our East Providence camera looking over the bay here. And you can see again, a nice pleasant afternoon. And uh, we're gonna be staying quiet right through tonight. Observed highs from earlier today in the upper 40s and low 50s across much of the area. Providence reached 53. Newport reached 49 degrees. New Bedford 52 and Westerly 50. And Temperatures right now, uh, not looking too bad. They're a few degrees cooler, but still on the pleasant side for this uh, Thursday afternoon. And here's the setup for the next several days. So we're talking, you know, well into next week in the first week of 2023. Uh, our jet stream, which sort of helps, you know, track the storms and it kind of guides the storms and kind of separates the cold air and the warm air. Well, that jet stream is going to be off to our west. So we're going to be on the eastern side of the jet stream which really allows for some warmer air to work up the east coast. So uh, that is the pattern that we're looking at uh, through next week, a good chunk of next week actually, with uh, multiple days of at least 50 degrees or warmer. So let's time things out here going forward the next couple of days. You know, we're quiet for tonight. We're quiet through Friday. Clouds will increase later Friday and especially of course into Saturday ahead of our next weather system. And our weather system that comes in time just uh, for the new year. So if you have any plans later Saturday night, um, we have some showers coming through uh, during the evening, but it will be mild. Temperatures will be in the 40s, you know, around midnight on New Year's Eve night. So, again, not, not too bad of a forecast. It, it's not going to be an all-out washout, but certainly uh, some showers around putting a damper on some outdoor festivities. Good news is, though, for New Year's Day, things clear out pretty quickly, but just turning windy uh, for your Sunday. So let's take things back to tonight's forecast. Again, quiet, dry, not as cold. Temperatures getting down to the mid-30s by uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, again, for tomorrow's forecast, again, a nice day overall, very mild. Temperatures getting into the 50s around noontime and uh, staying in the 50s for the afternoon. So a very nice Friday ahead. Definitely get outside, maybe have some lunch outside. A good time for that. Can't believe I'm saying that when it's the end of December, but certainly uh, we need to take advantage of this. Here's that New Year's Eve forecast again. Showers and you know rainy at times. Uh, looking at temperatures in the 40s though, so uh, not the best way to end uh, 2022 and begin 2023. Uh, but if you're not a fan of the snow, at least it's not snow, right? So we'll take that for sure. But again, uh, staying quiet next couple of days, tracking that shower threat and some of that rain for Saturday night. And uh, yeah, staying mild uh, right into a good chunk of next week. And from there on out, we'll see what happens as we go further into January. But uh, for now, that's your Weather Now update. Thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.